Hello everyone, Lavas. My name is Asya and today I'm going to talk about my experience in the university. I'm currently a student in the University of Sunderland and I'm studying my master's in public relations. However, last year I've graduated from international tourism and hospitality management, which I also studied in the University of Sunderland. I am originally from Lithuania and I came here four years ago. So my dream to study abroad um, probably came into my mind when I was around 15 years old. I used to travel a lot to the United Kingdom with my parents and I just really enjoyed that and after that I was looking into universities in the United Kingdom. I've ended up looking into University of Sunderland because uh, it was really really high in the rankings, especially like in the tourism um, subject. So it was like, I think it was in the fifth place overall in like United Kingdom. So it really impressed me and I started to look a little bit more into it. And I just ended up looking into forums, reading people reviews. And I was really surprised that a lot of students really enjoyed this university and that lecturers were really great. So I've decided that it would be a really good thing for me to apply to this university. So when I was in my last year in the high school, I had to go through some application process in order to study in the university in the United Kingdom. And to be honest, I didn't have to do much because we have this organization that helps students to apply for universities abroad and I basically just needed to write a motivation letter and ask for my teacher to uh, write a recommendation letter and I also had to ask for my school for like a document with my grades and I just took these free papers and went to the organization and gave it to them. They filled all forms for me did UCAS for me as well and after that when I was accepted to University of Sunderland I had to fill my student finance form and for my master's application process was very simple uh, so basically I emailed my motivation letter to them and that's it I got accepted a few days after and the only thing I needed to do is to fill online student finance form which took me like 15 minutes and that was it I've decided to study tourism for my bachelor degree because I used to travel with my parents a lot we would go to different countries and I just really really enjoyed meeting new people trying their food and I thought that it would be a great idea to study something that I really like doing in my life um, so by studying this subject I thought to myself that it would open doors to uh, different um, travel agencies, different uh, tourism attractions and organizations that would help me to travel a bit more and experience uh, new cultures. However, when I was studying tourism I had few marketing lessons and I really really enjoyed them. I thought that it was something that I would love to do for the rest of my life. So after I've graduated, I went to talk with my lecturers and just talk about my future plans. And while we were talking, uh, they actually suggest me to do public relations. I'm really grateful for their um, advice because I really, really, really enjoy doing this subject and I feel that it's my cup of tea. So after doing my bachelor degree, I didn't even think twice because I already knew that I wanted to stay in my university because I really enjoyed studying here. I thought that lectures were just amazing, super helpful, um, and just really, really friendly. And universities' infrastructure 
is really good as well. What do I mean by saying that? That um, if there is like any issues with my documentation or reports or any like accommodation inquiries, I can always, always, always go to university and just ask for help. University of Sunderland became like my second home. So in the future, I hope to combine both of my subjects and I would really like to recommend it to any of my family members, my friends or any other people. Uh, it's just a, such a great place to study. Uh, there is a whole bunch of things that you can do with your studies. And what do I mean by that? That we have like low sport clubs. So for example, I am currently a team member in the equestrian sport. And last year I was also doing uh, kickboxing. There is so much uh, things that I can try now and all other students can try it for such a low price. But there is like loads of free stuff that we are able to do. Like for example, go kayaking or go for surfing. I hope I answered some of your questions about university. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!